cutting my head off. Deal with it. You set it up to focus on me anyway. Yes, you are the star of the show today. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. So, I'm going to let Megan take over this video in a second <laughs> here. And she'll give you a rundown of what she's planning to do. I'm showing off a hobby of mine and something that a lot of people think I have talent in. So before we go in with paints and colors and gems and glitter and whatever else ends up happening on my face, I have just basic makeup on. I put on primer, foundation, bronzer, highlighter, and eyebrows, so at least I looked human instead of pale because it's winter. Um, we're going to put paint. Hey guys, this is Andrew. So I'm going to give my absolute best shot at narrating what Megan's doing in this video. So no negative comments on my lack of knowledge of makeup. So in the first part, she's taking a makeup pencil and outlining the areas where she will then start airbrushing and creating this cool galaxy look. All right, here comes the fun part. So with the airbrush, I'm seeing some blues, I'm seeing some purples, and she's just filling in those areas that she already stenciled out on her face previously. She's getting a little smurf look going there. This is looking like there has been some, some sort of fuchsia, and that looks like a little bit of teal being added. I honestly, I, this thought keeps running through my head. I keep wondering... What would it look like if I shaved off my beard and shaved all the way down to the skin and then had her apply this to my face? What do you think it would look like? I mean, obviously it would look very similar to what she's doing right now, but I don't know. I think it would look good on me. Might actually look good. I can definitely see the galaxy look starting to form here. She's getting those colors mixed together pretty well, and it's starting to look like some sort of nebula or um, galaxy in outer space. And I think it looks really good. It does kind of scare me thinking that some of that paint would get into my eye. Somehow she's avoiding getting it into her eye, but I think it would kind of hurt. Plus I wear contacts, so that wouldn't be a good mix. Here comes the eyeshadow. It looks like some sort of purple again. And it kind of blends in with the rest of the galaxy colors that she's got going on already. Props to her for being good at color matching because I am terrible. If you ask me what shirt to wear with the pants, I'm going to be like, I'm not sure. I have no idea what matches with that color. So I usually go with neutral tones, like gray and black and white. I'm pretty sure half my wardrobe is gray, but who cares? I think it looks good on me. So moral of the story is, when in doubt, just wear gray. So it looks like we're going in with some eyeliner. Kind of a lighter blue color. And I see a puppy in the background. It sure does take a steady hand to put that stuff on. I think I tried putting it on her in a previous video that we made, and mine kind of looked like anything but what it's supposed to look like. It looked terrible. I have to give myself some credit though. At least I tried. So it looks like she's moving over to her left eye, applying the same eyeliner as the right eye. It definitely gives some pop, some vibrance to the look. I kind of like it actually. And you can't do any of this without that handy dandy mirror. I feel like it's an essential in the makeup world to have some sort of mirror just so you can see what you're doing. But so far I'm pretty impressed with how it's looking. And now she's going in with the splatter paint. I'm not really sure what to call it. But um, this part always seems to be super messy. I guess there's not too much of a method here. It's just getting the paint in every place that you can. Just put it everywhere. 
make it look uh, like little stars. Now she's going back in with that airbrush and it looks like she's blending in some of that splatter paint. It's all about those layers, you know. You go in with the airbrush, then you go in with some splatter paint, then the airbrush again. And once it all mixes together, it just looks magnificent. Don't pay too much attention to what I say, though. I feel like I'm at least on the right track. Oh, look at all the little stars. Looks like she's got some pearls on there as well. Um, and then she is applying some lipstick which I guess kind of ties it all together, gives some uh, flair to the lip area as well. <laughs> now I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know my narrating might not have been the absolute best, but I do want to give props to Megan because she is very skilled at this type of stuff. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you can see more of our content. and. Yeah, like it up for Megan.